episode of Sleeping Giants, Red Star Belgrade. I'm getting lower and lower the more I say that. It's just like a force of habit that just keeps on happening. Not really much I can do about it, but let's get into today's episode. Now, before we get into things, some people pointed out there were some few countries that I must have left out. Um, obviously, I can't add every single country in because that would be ridiculous uh, for now anyway. I am going to add some more in the next season. Um, because I want to just see how it handles the ones we've got at the moment, and then I'll add in some more. I have added Bulgaria, Italy, Slovenia, and Slovakia, though, because um, I forgot about Slovenia and Slovakia, but I'm not going to add any more until next season, because I want to see how the computer handles the ones we've got at the moment. That's quite a few leagues to remember. So they are now all in. Not all of them are actually in the game. At the moment, we've got... Um, Sweden, Norway, Brazil, I think that's it at the moment. But it still made the database a bit bitter, a bit bigger, I think. It's, I think we're up to about 25,000 probably with the way I was adding. I don't know, actually. Um, but the point is when these new leagues are in, we'll be up to nearly 100,000 players. And hopefully that should be enough for me to do what I do and find some amazing regions. Um, probably a lot easier, if anything, than I have been in the past when I was really just scouting the big sides. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Now, what other things do we need to go over? Um... Oh, right. Okay, we had a youth intake this month, which I will definitely be showing you because we, I think... Oh, not quite. There's a couple of players I want to show you in that, though. Uh, I'm just going to quickly do the old potential tingy. Um, wow. <laughs> Let's see if I can find the bad. Right. Predrake Benyak is one of the players. He's a goalkeeper. Um, he was sort of the most, according to my scouts anyway, uh, the, the most promising prospect in our youth academy. I think he's, de he's decent. You know, he's not got decent potential four and a half stars kicking could do with a bit of it but he's you know he's gonna be okay i think he'll be a decent keeper he's only 15 so give the guy a break um there was one other guy that i was quite interested in where's he gone he's not got the best star rating ah trojan perovic i think is a center back yes um strapping young lag with a lovely thing in his eyebrow there but i like him i think with the right training which i've already got him training in stuff he could actually be quite a decent center back like, he's already got 15 aggression and 15 bravery. Decent teamwork and work rate. Uh, physicals, of course, are a bit slow at the moment still. Marking and heading, 10 and 15. Respectfully, his tackling does need to improve massively. But I think he could be all right, you know. I'm, I personally quite like him as a player. It'll take a little while, though, of course. And he is still only 15. So there is that. Um, right, what else have we got? Oh, yeah, I'm going to play the uh, replays of the matches in close mode now so to speak, like, you know, the closed repo mode instead of the television thing, as people suggested I do that. So I'm going to be doing that as well. Right, let's get into today's month. Today's month, what are you talking about, Matt? Right. First game of the month was Proletaire Novi Sad, and it was a slow one for us, really, because we didn't really turn the screw in the way that I would have probably liked. Uh, right, let's get this on too close. It Once we broke them down, it was fine, but, like, after that, we just couldn't seem to find a second goal, and we weren't really that good. I, I would think we got away with this one a little bit, but it was another win for the cause. I mean, as you can see here, two click-up chances apiece. Um, Otto there with the ball, out to Antic, and eventually it's well worked. Savisic there drops it short, and Jovic puts it in the bottom corner for his 21st goal of the season. If he doesn't hit 30 for us this year, I don't know who will. Uh, Savisic clearly is having a lovely old time uh, for us lately, now that he's actually back and fit and can play that role properly. So that was all we really have for that game. Um, I don't really know what the blue stuff in the background is going on. That sometimes happens. I don't know if it's because of my screen, but yeah, might have to fix that at some point. Moving on, in our next game, we had a bit of a disappointing one uh, against Jagodino. I was really not pleased with the way that this one turned out. I mean, we weren't spectacular, as you can see. We had 15 shots, five of which were on target. But they only had three shots on target the entire game, and they were rubbish. Uh, first goal was a penalty from Vukan Savicevic on 51 minutes. With I think that was his ninth goal of the season. I'm not entirely... No, uh, eighth goal of the season. Then literally two minutes later, we got another penalty, which of course Vukan Savicevic was able to dispatch. But what I mean, I mean, two very, very confident penalties from him. But the thing that annoyed me about this game is they literally had three shots on target the entire match, and they scored two of them. And the second goal was a rebound from a previous shot. So all three of their shots were involved in the goals, basically. Um... We gave the ball away. It was really bad from us, basically. We kept all the ball, and look at this. I mean, getting a little bit cheeky. And we, I, at this point, I'm thinking we're 2-0 up, away from home, having a lovely old time of it, and we should comfortably win this game. But we just didn't. And it was a sign of things to come this month. We've had some interesting results this month. Ball straight up there, flicked on, and you should be winning those headers comfortably, and we're not. And we're starting to look a little bit like we think we've won the league already. 
and that is not a good way to think. So ball out wide here, Sunshar, eventually this is going to end up in the middle of the area, basically, um, in acres of space, lovely finish of course, no, take nothing away from the finish. Stoyanovic, great finish, but that was their first shot on target of the entire game, and it took them an hour to get it, and suddenly it's 2-1, then in the 90th minute, we... Was it 90th minute? No, it was 89th minute. We got a free kick here, and I thought, oh, excellent, we're going to make it 3-1. No. Uh, they got the ball and decided that they would slowly break on it. Malbasic is the man that's actually going to end up getting Malbacic, rather. Um, or Sic. is eventually going to end up on the end of this. But it's just the irritant. I mean, great initial save from Harriman. But, I mean, Christ. They have three shots on target and score two. And one of them probably... They should, probably should have just been two shots on target, really. Um... So yeah, disappointing performance from my point of view. I was not pleased with a two-all draw against these guys. They're a good side, but no, not the way we're playing lately. And in our next game, we decided to come up with something rather lovely. And that was unexpected almost. Like, you know how we've done against uh, FK, uh, against Partizan this year. It's been okay. We nearly beat them here um, with that late equaliser they got, which was a pain. But... This one, I don't know, we just looked better than them. It did not It did help that they got a man sent off in the second half, but we were just genuinely quite good today. And it seems that we've sort of saved ourselves for this game because we were superb. And, you know, this game has a bit of a Hollywood finish too, which is awesome. Um, Jovic there, we kept the ball well at times. You know, 61% possession away from home at these guys is pretty impressive, to be honest. They are the second best team in this league. And as far as I know, they're still unbeaten as well, despite the league. Uh, Pekovic's ball in all the way across and Luka Jovic tapping that into the net for his 22nd goal of the season and his fifth goal in the Serbian Cup as well so he's the top scorer in the tournament too I think he's the top scorer in everything really 50 minutes though unfortunately it was about time that Partizan pulled their finger out and that's exactly what they did with some lovely work here this was genuinely a great goal just nice strike play between there they do have a couple of really good strikers and I wish we had them but we've got our own pair uh, just some lovely little balls in between the channels and unfortunately woeful defending from Pekovic plays it through and Harriman I don't know why he stands on his goal line but he did now the goal they scored to the goal we scored to win this game well, who else but Vukan Savicevic but watch this for play eventually it's going to come to um to Spotovic who just picks a lovely little ball through here and Savicevic just smashes it into the net in the 87th minute away from home, I can only imagine what the stadium would have been like in real life if that had actually happened. So it is 2-1 to us, and we can take that into the second leg at home, and I think that's going to be putting us into the cup final, which is awesome. And in our final game of the month, we had an absolute humdinger, and something I'm very disappointed at. It was away, yeah, but it was against the bottom club, Donia Srem, and I, I don't even know what happened in this game. As you can see, we had 27 shots, 13 on target, seven clear-cut chances. They took the lead through an early free kick, which Karaman should have done way, way better with. It's on his side. So four minutes in, and we are a goal down against the bottom club. And I'm still dominating the game at this point. Then, 26 minutes in, and they get another goal, amazingly. Simple work in the box here, ball played across, and it's 2-0 to Donia Shrem. And I, at this point, thought, right, we need to go and attack them. And that is exactly what we did. Um, thankfully, got ourselves back into the game just before half time like it was a good day for us in terms of scoring goals but defensively there were some real lapses Antic's ball here out to Ivanovic drops it short to Rakowski on the line here and it's Cernic of all people to make it 2-1 with his second goal of the season both of which have basically been tap-ins to empty nets but I don't care second half though we flew out the traps 54 minutes we managed to find ourselves an equaliser and that at that point I think right okay good straight in there and Georgie Despot which is a lovely finish in the bottom corner only his fifth goal of the season he's not really started that many games and he's not really been the prolific player he was last year then literally seconds after that straight from the kickoff basically um we got a free kick out the right hand side Rakowski's ball in brings it down and Vukasin Jovanovic makes it 3-2 to us and at this point I'm thinking yep good and we can really start to kick on from this game and go back to what we were doing and just finish this game off unfortunately Donia Shram had other ideas and literally just a few minutes after that they got the ball, started playing it around, and literally with their third shot on target of the game, managed to find another goal. I don't know what the defenders were doing there, but Lukic was great for them in this game. Managed to make it three all, unbelievably. I couldn't, I couldn't believe how they'd done that. I mean, look at that, seven clicker chances and eight half chances. Then I'm thinking, all right, we're going to put ourselves back in front again here. Um, literally almost immediately again, ball in though, and this time they're actually going to get it clear eventually lumped down the field by their goalkeeper come straight to us and I thought right we're good unfortunately a really badly misplaced pass there plays us into all kinds of couple as Bejic here and then you think okay we've got players back nope they've got men out wide it's key cap or keck cap ball in and once again Lukic running across the defenders and within seconds they're back in front again just 
unbelievable. We come from two goals down, and then, within a few minutes after that, we just completely flew at them again, and this was on a hell of a game. Like, if you were watching this as a neutral, it would have been, would have been incredible, but frankly, I think we deserve to win it. Despotovich around the man there, and slots it home for four, four all. And there was still 23 minutes left, but we just couldn't break them down. Again, we couldn't break them down for a fourth time in one match, and it was a shame, but it happens. So basically, what that leaves us is this. We are six points clear at the top of the league. We're still unbeaten after 19 matches. We've actually gone, I think, 25 matches unbeaten in all comp in the league. Uh, since There's been 25 matches in the league, I think, since we last lost a game. Um, but Partizan are also still unbeaten. They've just drawn more games than us, which is very impressive. Um, so there we have it. Um, most assists as Mark Rakowski up there with 10. We've got the best average rating as well. Uh, most clean sheets, surprisingly, after that performance. Jovic and Savicevic with nine goals in the league each. So... Yeah, Jovic has got a lot of goals not in the league. He's got 12 goals outside of the league. Which I assume means like 7 in Europe. It's pretty decent. Let's take a little look at the squad. So, yeah. 22 goals in 25 appearances is pretty damn good. Uh, Otto with 11 is also... Oh no, so Savicevic, Otto has 10. But Otto also has 16 assists, which is very, very good. Uh, most of those clearly not come in the league, though. Uh, player of the match is Otto again, but Antic is up there also. Pass rating uh, is Cernic with 87, as you'd expect. Yellow cards, 11 for Lazic, and red cards, of course, the two for Cernic. Average rating is still Nenad Gavric. Let's get into today's game. We are at home against Napredak, um, so I think we should be able to win this one fairly comfortable. They're playing a system that we kind of like playing against anyway, so we are just going to go with our standard type of play. Rakowski is going to play on the right, though. Uh, I think Savicevic is just... Is he... Na Wait, what's happened to Savicevic? Where is Vukan Savicevic? Oh, he's on the bet. He's 100% fit. That being said, Rakowski does play that role incredibly well as well. I'm wondering, maybe I should actually just do that. This is the one area we need to really strengthen is this left-hand side. Um, that That is the one weakness in our sort of squad at the moment, is that weakness. And midfield, we could probably do with some better players too. But uh, I'm going to try and get Jovic back on low next season as well, just because it'd be useful to have. I am obviously going to look for some strikers of our own. I think I've been doing a little bit of scouting in Brazil at the moment, but I'm, I want to write really till the summer, till there's a lot more nations involved so we can really look at some decent sort of player pools then. Uh, at the moment, you know, it's just going to end up being Brazilians. I'd much rather wait. I might bring in a couple of the South Americans, but I'd much rather wait until we can get some great players from the Balkans because there are clearly going to be some. Um, with the amount of countries we've got turned on, there's bound to be some gems. I just need to find the bastards. Right, let's go. Uh, Jovic and Despotovic starting up top today. Why not? Strakulers is complaining because he's not getting enough first team football. I'm sorry, Dennis, but you just you're just not good enough at the moment. It's as simple as that. Um, we need to win this really because. But then again, Bazania have done incredible for their first season up in the top flight. That is genuinely a, an astonishing performance. We might take a little look as well at the um, second tier after this game, just so we can see what the other who's looking at coming up next year. Do a couple of changes. Get these bad boys in. I think this should be a comfortable victory for us. I'd like to think so. And oh, we're on bloody close. We need that on 2D Classic. There we go. Lovely old job. Right, let's go. This should be a comfortable win for us, really. I mean, let's face it. We were unbeaten this season. We shouldn't... Oh, they've got Freddie Adu. Freddie Adu now plays for Napredak. Um, still can't stick at a club. But he's had a shot there, and that kind of demonstrates why he can't stick at a club, it would appear. Hmm... This should be a comfortable routine win. I really do want to go the season unbeaten. That is my main target for this year. Because that would unlock a cool achievement too. And I, I do want to do that. And to do that in the third season of this save would be pretty impressive for me. I just want to see how long we can go unbeaten actually. Ristich. That's a bit poor from him. Rakowski might be able to pick a decent cross though. Drops it into Spotovic with the header. And that is 1-0 to us. Can't ask for a better start than that. Georgi Despotovic with his seventh. He's getting a couple of starts now and a few substitute appearances. And he is starting to actually show glimpses of the player we saw last year. Um... Ooh, some flares in the crowd. That's always nice to see. Rakowski the ball in. Lovely lob looped header there from Despotovic. 1-0 us. We do need to get a second goal, though. We, you know, we've don't know, we've let two goal lead slips at times. And then Partizan are already two goals to the good in their game. So it looks to me as though this is just going to be a case of us keeping ourselves the same distance away at the top. Despotovic there. Back to Vukas and Jovanovic. Pekovic. I do, I do think we are capable of going this season unbeaten, though. I really do. Because we've got... The only tough game we've got left, really, is the home game against Partizan. But we are at least at home because we survived the away game. Um, and I think we will get to the cup final because we just have to avoid losing to Partizan at home, um, which seems unlikely as well. So I think we'll probably be okay, Rakowski. Jovic? Oh, what a hit. Oh, does Partizan is in here? What? What did he do that for? That was really strange. 
to me he should have just put that in the empty net did he stumble over his own feet or something that was really weird so i think a cup final and it'll probably be against ofk um if we do get to the cup final so that'll be quite interesting as well correctly can he turn and shoot nope finds rakowski can he turn and shoot nope can what is going on here antich correctly oh dear um we're certainly dominating the early stages though i must say if we don't win this after that start then i'll be very disappointed in us 18 shots in the first half an hour i'll take it but we need to find a second goal really um they're not threatening at all but we do need a second goal just to get out of sight and i do like i, I we want to see a few more batterings in the seasons to come you know this is a chance for those players to sort of show me why they should be playing in the champions league and like that game where we won 7-2 in the last live con i need more games like that really oh cernich oh he's hit the crossbar rakowski puts it into the empty net cernich really couldn't hit anything unless it is an open goal Rakowski's 10th goal of the season and that is his 10th goal in the league because all of the goals he scored for us have actually come in the league which is a little bit surprising um but to me Cerner should be putting this away from there hits the crossbar but Rakowski will follow up and surely wrap up the match for us at 2-0 we've had 22 shots in the first half of this game um this could actually be our first sort of really big smash win apart from that 7-2 of course 5-2 to Partizan in the first half against Bazania. they're obviously trying to catch us on goal difference I don't think they're going to manage that overall but they're giving it a bloody good go against a really decent side so well done them um Imagine if Partizan went the entire season unbeaten and still didn't win the league because we also went the entire season unbeaten. That would be quite a gut punch, wouldn't it? Um, if anything, that would make winning the title even better for us at the moment. No offence if anyone is a Partizan fan, but come on now. Um, 22. I want to see how many shots we can get. See if we can get 40 in this game. That would be quite interesting. I think that's the most I've ever seen. I think we had 38 in a game once when we were on this save. That was against the lower league opposition. This is a top flight game. Napradak have absolutely they've done nothing in this game although I'd like to see us maybe score a few more goals but we are set to work it and I don't want to shoot any more than we need to really I'd rather just bide our time and if this amount of shots is biding our time then my god I really do think that next year we're going to be there's going to be the season that we really do try to kick on in Europe I'm hoping that we'll get a better coefficient this time around I am going to bring on Savicevic just because just because basically uh, although I'm going to bring him on for Karakliic and then swap these two over because Rakowski can play on the left and I'd rather keep him on if I can right let's see 25 minutes to go I'd like another goal that that would probably do nicely oh there we go ball through oh that's them <laughs> yeah I would not like them to score they've only had two shots in the entire game if you let them score I'll be very annoyed this should be a dominant like those sort of stats should to me indicate that we should be sort of four or five goals to the good and that's sort of th something we do need to work on putting some of those chances away but I think just getting better strikers will do that Jovic puts it in the back of the net for 3-0 with his 23rd goal of the season now if he doesn't get 30 i'll eat my hat um i don't have a hat so that's a pretty much a safe bet for me Cernich, did he get an assist for this no he doesn't does he it's assist for georgie despotovic which takes a touch sets himself and it's bottom well not even bottom corner keepers just standing there 3-0 to us and that's better it's a little bit better we've obviously tired a little bit in this second half so i might bring on uh otto play him there see if he can get himself an assist he does love a good assist. He could do with a few more in the league as well. This is a game where he could probably set something up for us. Hmm. But I take 3-0. Three 3-0 nil. Three is a good result. We've obviously done better in uh, games after that 7-2 win where we just blitzed them in the last 10 minutes. Of, oh, don't you dare let them score here. Don't you dare. Oh, my life. This is the difference between us um, winning in Europe, I think, is this sort of ability to switch off like that against a really poor team who've done nothing in the entire game their first shot on target after 78 minutes and they've scored it you know and it's only 3-1 now this game should be completely out of sight at this stage we've been a bit poor in the second half to be fair we've not had as many shots as i would have liked when you consider how far ahead we were at half time but we did at least make it three. Oh, otto brings it down for yoga oh, oh that's a poor finish from savicevic after a really nice work move one more shot guys come on get the 40 get the big four zero i can't believe we've 14 shots on target we've not managed to you know oh we're not gonna oh there we go there we go 40 shots crazy stuff rakowski savicevic he's gonna shoot oh come on now rakowski <laughs> 42 shots in this game we've had and we're only with it with 16 on target jovic lazic and he's been dispossessed as well ristich somebody just take a shot please Antic around the corner for Rakowski. Somebody, please shoot Antic. Cernic, oh, ho, ho. Savicevic, Otto. Oh, it is four-one now. We've had forty-four shots, eighteen on target. How the hell have we only won this four-one? 
this is the most dominating performance I've seen from us this entire season. Um, but I think that's another assist for Mahat Otto, or is it? Savic oh no, of course not, because he's the one that's going to get the goal. But Savicevic will take another assist, which is lovely. A 4-1 win is pretty solid for us, keeps the goal difference flying high, keeps us flying high at the top, and shakes off the shackles of that really poor performance against... And bear in mind, Napredak are fourth in the league. And I think they actually might have been third coming into this game, and we've just hit 44 shots past them. Um, Jesus, <laughs> that is all I can say. They uh, woeful times in the Napredak camp. We've scored 63 goals in the league now. We're probably not going to get anywhere near the 111, but wow, 6-2 partners that managed to win. So they are still unbeaten as well. But I just don't think they're going to drag back those six points. I can't see where we're going to drop those six points. You know, even if they beat us at home, which I really don't think they will, then I cannot see that happening. Right, let's just take a little look at the, the league. There's the league. Radniki are now bottom. Uh, Luka Jovic with 10 there. Rakowski now has 11 assists in the league, which is actually very, very good. Um, just take a little look at the second tier. So Borac are actually top of that now, along with Metalac. So that's interesting. And our affiliate club, Borja. That's kind of cool too. Um, who else have we lost in recent years? Oh, of course, OFK. Bear in mind, OFK are in the they're in a good position to, to be in the cup final. So that is pretty decent from them as well. Um, does look like Borja, uh, Borac are probably going to go up. Though it's still pretty tight. So who knows? So, let's see what we're doing in the next episode. I think I did explain in the last one what I was probably going to do. Yes, we're going to do the Partizan game at home in the league. So, that's pretty much the title decided for me. If we win that, we're champions. In my mind, anyway. Um, so, there we go. If you guys are like we've seen, please feel free to drop a like on the episode. And if you'd like to even on that, please feel free to subscribe to our channel for more Portsmouth and Red Star Belgrade in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. And I will see you guys in the next episode for the FK Partizan Derby. The Eternal Derby. They call it something else in here, though, but I can't remember what it is. Bye-bye.